tight. Let's come back and learn the concept of vulcanization of rubber. So basically, when I speak about rubber, I already learned the structure that is, it is also called as cis polyisoprene unit, having five carbon atoms. Now, when I have to speak about vulcanization of rubber, why should I do vulcanization? What actually is this? Let's see. So when I said rubber is an elastomer, done. So when I apply it, I also said one more point. Whenever temperature is applied, its structure is affected. How is that? This rubber basically is going to become soft when when the temperatures are raised. When the temperatures are greater than 335 Kelvin. When you become raise the temperature 335 Kelvin, it will become soft. And it is going to turn brittle when the temperatures are less than 283 Kelvin both the conditions both the uh, uh, ranges so now what to do what actually is this we can't like we need to maintain the temperature and maintain that stiffness in rubber so when I, when they have observed the uh, properties of rubber first important uh, thing is it has high water absorbing capacity rubber when i see it will absorb because when it is soft in nature it's going to have high water absorbing capacity okay now second when i take this rubber instead of its durability when i try to dissolve it in non-polar solvents like benzene alcohol or this it's going to dissolve in them so next important point you have to write is soluble in because if there is non-polar solvents right this also is a problem if it's soluble non-polar solvents it should not be soluble isn't it it should be stiff and durable enough to use for many years it's important they are non-resistant to oxidizing agents okay because of these properties what do they do they are going to improve to improve all these properties they are going to vulcanize rubber basically you are going to add sulfur bridges into this rubber so to overcome all these okay so we are going to do what process vulcanization so let us write the definition basically right so what is the vulcanization process it is a process of increasing the strength of rubber right what are we doing we are trying to modify the rubber structure by adding certain additives we will add certain accelerators i'll show you that also so what we do we try to add sulfur so four percent sulfur is a uh, standard thing which we use it for tires for its durability like that i keep adding sulfur bridges wherever you have double bonds so vulcanization is a process of modifying rubber let's write that it is a, it is a process of modifying rubber right i have to improve all these qualities isn't it rubber by adding sulfur bridges sulfur bridges now along with that i'm also going to add certain additives or accelerators sulfur bridges where are you adding sulfur bridges around double bond to increase why are we adding this to increase its strength and i want that stiffness in that rubber not too strong enough not too soft enough i want that flexibility of rubber so sulfur bridges around double bond to increase the strength increase the strength of rubber along with along with accelerators okay i'll give you certain examples accelerators okay accelerators like okay i'll give you one example you can remember that the accelerators are called or one example is sulfi Namides. Sulfinamide is an accelerator which will increase the strength also. The formula for this is you have sulfur, you have N, you have alkyl group here, when I mean you have alkyl group, one more alkyl group. This is called sulfinamide. So this is the definition. Once again, it is a process of modifying rubber by adding sulfur bridges where around the double bond. Why? To increase the strength of rubber along with certain accelerators like sulfonamide is called vulcanization of rubber done so let us come back and see where are we at bridges isn't it so because of this the stiffness of the strength of the rubber increases so let us write because of vulcanization the stiffness or if I have to say stiffness I should not say it, but clearly stiffness it I could I'd say increases the strength of 
rubber okay the durability of rubber or increases durability or the strength of rubber okay done so how are we added how are we going to add now basically you can draw the structure now what do we have it is 2 methyl 1 3 butadiene is your rubber done so how should i write this 1 2 3 4 this is a second carbon methyl first position third is double bonds now you're going to add sulfur bridges wherever they are double bonds now break this bond adds one sulfur bridge break this bond add one sulfur bridge here so how are you adding now you are going to break this bond you're also going to break this bond add one sulfur bridge to this add one sulfur bridge again to this you have now see here one more ch3 on this side c on this side now c on the side this is linking done now this this carbon is like this isn't it c I'm talking about this okay <coughs> double bond done so like that if I have to draw the structure it's basically this is one carbon chain this is one more carbon chain you're linking everywhere with sulfur bridges so the sulfur bridges will increase the strength of your rubber now what percentage if I have to speak it is most 5% 4 to 4 to 5 percent is a 5% uh, sulfur if I have to say 5% sulfur is a is used as a cross-linking agent okay five let us write that five percent sulfur acts as cross linking agent along with along with accelerators with axilla accelerators so this is the thing so this is how you're going to write your vulcanization of rubber start with the properties then come back to definition then come back to the outcome then draw the structures and what is the how much percentage is used